What is loan officer co-marketing? Should you be doing it in your mortgage business? And how is that going to get you more loans? I'm Nick Carpenter, welcome back to the channel. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about all things co-marketing because I see that's a common question here on YouTube is like what is loan officer co-marketing? Especially if you're a newer loan officer, you're probably hearing that term and you're not really sure like what are you actually getting yourself into so let's talk about the four different ways that loan officers typically get into co-marketing agreements number one the most common is going to be a Zillow Trulia or Realtor.com contract you're starting to see it now with homes.com as they've been bought by CoStar and they're starting to have a pretty big push into uh, into the consumer space and getting more realtor partners and that stuff for their leads but typically what happens is Realtor.com or Trulia or Zillow, they reach out to a realtor to try to get the realtor to take a specific zip code um, on their platform for the leads coming in. And often what happens is the realtor is interested but doesn't have the full budget that requir is required um, in order to take that zip code. So these big aggregator platforms will suggest to the realtor that they go partner with a lender where the lender and the realtor can get the lead at the same time in exchange for sharing the fee. So that's why realtors will come to you and ask you to pay 400 to a couple thousand dollars depending on how many zip codes a realtor has. They'll ask you to pay some of that so that um, obviously it reduces their marketing share and that's, that's basically the only reason, right? So they call it co-marketing, but the truth is in that instance, you're, you're basically paying for the realtor's um, realtor.com contract or Zillow contract in order to be able to get those leads. So that's gonna be like the standard, most common way that you're gonna hear about loan officer co-marketing is gonna be a loan officer giving the realtor money or paying directly to an aggregator site in exchange for the leads that are coming through. The second kind of co-marketing that you might hear about a lot of times is like flyers. So things where a loan officer is gonna put, create a flyer about a specific property or loan options for a house based on the listing price. And at the bottom of the flyer, it could have the loan officer's information and it could also have the realtor's information. So this kind of flyer could be left at the property. It could be you know shared to neighbors. It could be used at open houses, some of those sort of things. So sometimes realtors are looking for co-marketing. Um, yeah, sorry, I had a hair in my mouth or something. Realtors are sometimes are looking for co-marketing um, from like a physical flyer perspective or some kind of physical handouts or you know physical marketing materials. And so that's another way, you know, in terms of loan officer co-marketing, that's another thing that you might hear about. All right, the third kind of co-marketing that you might hear about is open houses. So often if a realtor is looking for a lender to help co-market an open house, they might um, like for you to provide some snacks or beverages or a giveaway item or prizes, uh, things like that to be able to get people's contact information. So sometimes it's not gonna be necessarily you are paying the realtor, but you might just be you know, expected to provide some food and some drinks and, and some of those kind of things. Um, so that the realtor doesn't have to pay for that stuff. And in exchange, you get to sit in the open house with them. You get access to the buyers coming through. You could potentially pre-approve buyers right there on the spot. So it can be a good use of money depending on what the expectations are from a realtor. Um, if you're looking at doing some loan officer co-marketing, then that could be one option for you. But if you, if you hear a realtor ask you about you know doing something at an open house together that's probably what they're looking for is for you to come there kind of be a little bit of safety and security for them uh, so there's two people instead of just one and you might be you know asked to provide some snacks and beverages and, and that sort of thing all right the fourth style of co-marketing that you will hear realtors come to loan officers and ask to partner on the marketing is some live events for the realtors database uh, or farm area. So that could be another way where realtors are looking for multiple sponsors, not necessarily just a lender, but uh, oftentimes it's just they're looking to cover the cost of the event so that it's a no cost event to them. In exchange, you would probably be the only loan officer there and they might have some other affiliated businesses, right? Like an insurance agent, a title person, a home inspector, um, you know, some other small businesses from the area that they like and, and recommend people to use. Um, so sometimes you'll hear about loan officer co-marketing when it comes to doing live events. Um, again, whether that's for their database of existing customers or for their farm area where they, you know, work and 
um, to get listings. Sometimes they might look for you to come in and partner up with them on those type of events. All right, the last kind of loan officer co-marketing that I wanted to mention, I know I said I had four, so this is like the bonus number five, and we call it the ultimate Uno reverse card. And you know, one thing that you can do is you can bring a skill set to the table so that when a realtor looks for you to get, give them money, maybe you can offer a different suggestion of a way to get even better results than what they're attempting to do. Right? And, and often this is gonna come into play when it comes to doing things like Zillow and Realtor.com. right? Because in the end, the only thing that matters is what does it cost to get a client? And, and you know if you can learn how to generate your own leads, oftentimes you can beat what the aggregators are charging because they need to make a profit, right? They're not profiting on the leads itself. So they need to make a, you know, or they're not getting like the back end business um, unless you're on like that Zillow flex plan or something like that where you're giving them a referral fee. But often if you're buying the leads and you're just you know paying somebody for the leads, they have to make more money on that. Right, so if you can learn how to generate Facebook leads, for example, or leads on Instagram or YouTube or some platform where you can go consumer direct, I mean, instead of paying for a realtor's co-marketing or instead of having to pay an agency $3,000 a month, you could just generate your own leads for a dollar to $5 a piece. Um, it just makes life, you know, you can kind of control your lead flow and, and your business. and. Um, you know, again, it's a way that you can bring value to realtors, and especially if you know how to generate the leads and the realtor doesn't, then you can actually get them to pay for your ad spend. I mean, today we have a, at least several thousand dollars a month coming in that we use in markets around the country to generate leads for free for loan officers because we're getting the money from realtors is, is where the actual budget's coming from. So, you know, I can get into all the RESPA compliance pieces later on, but I promise you it's RESPA compliant. And the, you know, but again, we're getting free leads. I mean, what's better than that, right? Um, and also what I'm finding is if you get the realtor to pay for the ad spend, they have much more buy-in in what you're doing. They care about the leads a lot more because now it's their money that's being put into it versus yours. Um, but if you compare what you can do on Facebook for a couple hundred dollars is like what Zillow wants to charge you several thousand dollars for. So I love this this aspect of, you know, if you're loan officer co-marketing, where we actually get the realtor to pay us versus us paying the realtor, which is typically what the deal is, right? And that's why we call this strategy the ultimate Uno reverse card. And so, you know, in terms of loan officer co-marketing, obviously this is my favorite strategy because it doesn't cost us money. But there are some other options like I've, uh, you know, kind of covered here. And, and odds are if you're hearing a realtor ask you about doing some co-marketing, they're asking you for one of these things here. And I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, feel free to share the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Drop a comment if you have an idea or a question that you want me to answer on a future video. I really appreciate your suggestions. And thank you for being here. We'll see you next time. Later.